Whoa, I forgot about my coffee. I can't forget about you. All right, so today we are doing a pretty massive Amazon haul. A couple things from other places, but as you know, I was out of the country for a couple months and there were a few things I just wanted to like change out, refresh, new products to try. I'm in North Carolina in my grandparents' house right now. I'm attempting to film this with no AC on and without the fan on, just for the noise. So if I start looking a little extra glowy throughout this video, you know why. But like always, I'll have everything I'm talking about today listed down below in the description box if you wanna check anything out. Everything I mentioned is linked, everything I'm wearing is linked. I did actually recently do an Amazon Prime video as well, so if you want more Amazon recommendations, you can check out that video, I'll link that down below. I also have an Amazon storefront where I link all of my favorites and it's separated out into categories, so that is also down below. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do while you're watching, you can give it a thumbs up. Intermission for some dog cuddles. But by the way, I do have one other Atlanta vlog coming. So I think I'm actually posting this first and then you'll see another Atlanta video, but I'm in North Carolina right now. So you a vlogger. Okay, sorry, I actually need to work now. Okay, let's start out with one of the things, maybe the thing that I am most excited about because wow, I feel like these are going to be perfection slash they already are. So a shocker to us all, these are actually made by Crocs, you guys, yeah. Crocs. Never thought I'd be wearing Crocs on my feet, but here we are. But they're these super cute platform sandals that come in a couple different colors and they're actually small enough. I got the size five and I actually think these run probably half a size small. Usually I'm like a four or four and a half. These fit perfectly. If not, like I maybe even could have sized up half a size. So maybe they even run like a full size small. The reason why I was like super into the idea of these is these are actually like so squishy, comfortable, the sole. And I was reading reviews saying that these are like the perfect travel shoes because you can walk like miles in them because they're super comfortable, but you can also like dress it up. I can wear these during the day, like very casual, but then also I feel like I could wear these with like a dress and it would look, you know, nice enough and I can walk in them. So these hit like my three main things. Obviously I haven't personally tried yet to walk miles in them, but based on the reviews, it seems like these are like really good walking shoes and they are very comfortable because of the squishy sole. Very, very excited about that find. Next up I have a self tanner. This one is by B Tan. It's their darker violet base one hour self tan mousse. So I wanted to try out a new self tanner because I always like to test different ones. I have this on right now. I tried this last night for the first time. I actually didn't leave it on for an hour. I left it on overnight, which it says you can do. If you want like a lighter color, it says leave it on for an hour. If you want crazy dark, do a double coat and leave it on for four plus hours. I didn't do a double coat. I just did a single coat, but then left it on overnight. And I haven't washed off the color guard yet. So sometimes that can you know take away a lot of the color. But right now, I mean, it's looking really nice. I feel like the color is like pretty natural looking. It doesn't look too orange. We'll see how it looks on camera, but like in real life, it has like a nice golden kind of color to it. It is a violet base. So usually that helps to kind of counteract the orange. I'll update you guys on this in another video, how it wears and how it looks like once the color washes off. But the color guard was pretty light. It looks super even, even on like my hands and feet. My one downside so far is that it did take like a while to kind of dry down. It's one of those like sticky ones, which, you know, if you're trying to like go to sleep right away is kind of annoying. But if you're fine with walking around or if you're only going to keep it on for an hour, then you can just walk around naked, get some good <laughs> birthday suit walking in, you know, and then just shower it off. So just depends. But so far I am liking this, but we'll see. These are a game changer. This is my second pair of these. Basically these are insoles. So earlier this year I went on like a mission to find shoes that didn't make my feet burn and that I can actually walk like a long time in. I found a winning combo for me. It's the Kinvara. I think they're like Kinvara 12 with these insoles. My dad actually told me about these. So many of you guys have purchased these and said that these also have really helped you. Basically I'm just getting these for all of my <laughs> tennis shoes I've been wearing. So I'm gonna put these in my Nike Air Force Ones. Those are like my go-to travel shoe. If you didn't know, you are supposed to take out the soles that come in the shoes. So take those out and then you trim these down and put these bad boys in. If you feel like your feet have never been comfortable basically when you're walking, this combo has been so good for me. I haven't had the burning feet thing since I started using these. Okay, next up I got this swimsuit. So I really like swimsuits that aren't tank top style. Like I love the off the shoulder or just ones that like cover your arms a little bit and I love the top of this the top of this is so cute I also like that 
it has this like nice thicker tie right here so it also covers your back a little bit which is just what I look for in swimsuits personally but I feel like the red does the red look a little bit too like snow white or something I don't know with the puff sleeves I think it might my issue is I love the top of this top looks super cute but the bottoms need some work like they need to redesign these basically it's like a kind of like a thong bottom ish because it goes up so high like look at how high-waisted these are on my body it this just doesn't work it's like way too high-waisted and then I like a little bit more coverage on the tush area what I'm thinking is either I try to find like a red bottom that matches this or maybe like I could find you know a cute white pattern one with like some red in it I might do that because I do want like a colored swimsuit I have so many black swimsuits or I could return the whole set and get the black set and then just use the black top basically with black bottoms or white they have it in a bunch of colors but basically i really like the top don't love the bottoms might look different on your body okay very excited about this find so this is the bag smart brand they make a lot of good stuff on amazon one of their products was like tiktok viral it was the hanging toiletry bag this i haven't heard anyone talk about i just wanted like a cord organizer but that also could fit like the bulk of my electronics because right now I have them kind of in like two different random bags where I have all my like camera mics and then just random cords. I have a lot of electronics obviously that I have to travel with. This one is big. I think they have a smaller size as well. So if you don't need like this big of one and there is a smaller size, but I like that it's, you know, pretty flat. Like this will be good for packing and look at all of the super cool compartments in here. There's even like camera SD card spots that you can put your SD cards in. This flips up and then you can put whatever the heck you want in here, like any of your bigger electronics. There's a zipper pouch and I'm probably even gonna put my like iPad in here and then also my like external hard drive. I think this will be actually perfect for what I'm looking for. And then also on the outside, there's this other compartment where you can put whatever you want. AirPods, phone, whatever. Also love the cute like black quilted pattern on it and the gold detail, really pretty. I feel like I've mentioned this in a few videos, but basically I'm reorganizing all of my stuff right now. If you're new here, I've been living out of suitcases for 10 months now, almost 11. So right now I'm doing like an overhaul, reorganizing everything. So I got a few things related to that, but this is a really cute little bag that you can use for either makeup if you don't travel with a lot of makeup. I have way too much makeup to put in here. So I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna put in here. I don't know, but there's a lot of different compartments in here, zipper, mesh, and then this thing where you could put like makeup brushes. Actually, did I get this for brushes? I might've got this thinking I'm gonna put makeup brushes in here now that I'm thinking about that because I figured I could put like my eye brushes in here because I don't have that many brushes with me now and then the rest of them in here. Maybe that's why I got this just now remembering my plan. But again, black gold, love the outside. And this feels like nice quality. It's like nice and thick feeling. I think they also had a bigger one of that too. Next up is the dress that I have on right now. I am so pleasantly surprised by this dress. You never know with Amazon clothes, you know, it's like very hit or miss sometimes. But this one actually I think fits so cute. I wanted something light, like lightweight and also light in the heat. This is something that I know I'm gonna get a bunch of use out of and I also think I'm gonna order other colors in this now because the fit of this is I think just like perfect. I don't have to worry about things like falling out. It's long enough, but it's not too long. It comes in a bunch of different patterns and colors. So if you're not into like the brown polka dot, I thought this would be cute because I can wear it in summer, but also fall. Like I think this would look really cute with like a camel colored loose sweater or like a cream sweater with some tights and boots. I could totally see this like switching into fall mode. Really love this. They've been putting it on major sale. So if it's not on sale when this video goes up, check back because I've been following it and they do like 40% off coupons a lot. Like it goes on good sale. Next up, I have this kind of obnoxious phone case, but that I really like. What does this remind you of? I feel like it reminds me of like a mix of Shrek and what was that show? The Wiggles. Like, for some, why do I get the Wiggles vibes from this or like Teletubbies? I don't know, but I really like that it's square. It almost makes it look like a Samsung. The corners are really nice and thick and like sturdy. So if you drop your phone, I feel like this would actually be good protection because of how thick the corners are. If you're not into the neon green, this comes in other colors, but I just thought it was kind of fun and like a good switch up. And I don't know, I really like the design of this. Like it looks like, look at the camera. It looks like it fits in there like actually perfect 
basically. I'm still in my neon phase. Okay, so this is a new release from CeraVe. I was so curious to try this because you guys know I love CeraVe. love the, especially the hydrating lines, like my favorite. I use the CeraVe hydrating bar soap. That's what I've been using for the last, since January. And that has lasted me so well. It's great to travel with because it's not a liquid, it's lightweight. I love both, but I like that a little bit better than the just hydrating cleanser. Both are amazing. But because this is like, one of my favorite skincare lines of all time. I was super excited to pick this up on Amazon. It's the only place I've seen it. I checked like drugstores, I didn't see it. So I think, I don't know if it's like exclusive to Amazon right now or what, but this is their new makeup removing cleanser bomb. So I did try this last night. I didn't have eye makeup on though. So I haven't tried this with like waterproof eye makeup. My initial thoughts is that this is a much smaller jar than I was picturing. I should have looked at the size. It's only 1.3 ounces. So that's actually pretty pricey if you're comparing it to other brands where you get like much more product. So it's not a cheap cleansing balm. The packaging is pretty heavy and I almost feel like because it's like travel size, I wish they made it like a little bit lighter packaging, but that's just because my brain is in travel mode right now. I'm sure most people wouldn't care. But after my initial just one testing so far, I like how lightweight this one is. It is one of those very just like thin kind of feeling cleansing bombs. You wanna put cleansing bombs on dry skin. Don't put it after you wet your face, put on dry skin. I just use them in the shower, rub all over. And one other thing I like is that this one, when you wash it off, it doesn't leave that like super oily residue. I always use a face wash after a cleansing balm, but still I hate when they leave that like super oily feeling and you have to wash your face like twice just to get it off and then your hands are all oily. I really don't like that. This doesn't do that. We'll see, I'm gonna keep trying it. One of you told me about this when I asked for like black eyeliner recommendations, the Julep Long Lasting Eyeliner. This is like their gel pencil liner. They actually make like a really mini size for $3 on Amazon with Prime. So I was like, okay, yeah, I'll try it out. It's the shade Blackest Black, just a gel liner pencil. I was asking for recommendations for ones that specifically I could smudge on the top and that wouldn't transfer up. I did smudge it today. So far, no transfer. We'll see, I also put this on my tight line. I've been tight lining a lot, so I will update you guys in an upcoming video, vlog or speed reviews or something. I like when brands do little smaller sizes like that so you can just try stuff out and then it's not like a waste. But also this one had really good reviews, so I do have high hopes. I have learned under any dress at this point, I'm wearing some kind of yoga shorts. Instead of like wearing uncomfortable shapewear or Spanx or something like that, it is so much more comfortable to wear yoga shorts, but that have like the tummy control thing, if that's something you look for, or that are just like a little bit smoothing. So it's kind of like a little bit of shapewear, but you can still wear shorts in case it gets breezy and your dress is blowing up and you just don't have to worry about it. I just feel like more secure when I have on shorts underneath the dress. When I was gone, I was wearing these white shorts that I got off Amazon. Those, I really liked the tummy control part of those, but they were just too short to wear. It was almost like when I walked, I would get like the chafing and they would almost be like boy shorts. I'm gonna link those ones down below because I do like the tummy control and I'm pretty sure they do come in a longer length. I think it was just like out of stock when I went to order. So I ended up trying a different brand to get like longer white shorts that I could wear under dresses. But I will say they, these are very different than the other ones. So I'm gonna link both of them just depending on what you like. The other ones definitely have a more like controlling band and they're a different material. This is like that soft kind of like a little bit more warm material. And the other ones are more of like an athletic material. So I actually like the other ones better if I can get them in a longer length. These might be going back. I don't know, I'm on the fence. I'm gonna try them out. They do have pockets on the side, which is kind of cool, but then you'd have to like lift up your dress to <laughs> get what you wanted out of your pockets, so maybe not. Very excited to try this. One thing that I wish I had with me this whole time is a steamer, like a little travel steamer. And I looked up a bunch of different options and basically I wanted something that was like very slim, that was made for travel that I could bring with me anywhere. I had a couple situations where like I couldn't get an iron or it was just, there were situations with the iron and the steamer and I was like, wow, I should have just brought one myself. It made everything way easier. Even if you're in like maybe a really small apartment, you don't have a lot of room, this would be really good. But this is the Chai Chi, I don't know why I said chai. This is the Chi handheld steamer. It looks really small. It says ready to steam in 35 seconds, includes a travel bag. I think this one was like maybe a pound or two, which is something to consider with travel, but my bag has been under, my bag's been like 40 pounds, so I have some extra, you know, weight. It does look a little questionable. <laughs> you like saw this in a suitcase, but hey. Ooh, it feels nice. Like just the, the buttons and like the feel of this. A little water spot. 
right there. It's relatively very slim and small for a steamer. This is, I think, gonna be good. Got good reviews and it comes with this little travel bag. Okay, this I was thinking <laughs> was gonna be a bit bigger. I wanted a bigger like pill case because right now I have, well, you should see my pill bag right now. It's literally, I'm looking at it right now, it's literally this big. Literally. I was thinking that this was going to be closer to this size so that I could put like the triptans and stuff in it. I just have some pills that are like bigger packaging so it just takes up more room. I think I am going to keep this so I'm going to open it because I think I will just put this in my purse or something. Whoa, I forgot about my coffee. Can't forget about you. Did I do an intro? <laughs> yeah, yeah I did. Okay, we're good. Ooh, it's kind of like a soft outside. Big material gal, you know? So lashes right there and then, whoops. I don't know what's just fell. Here's the inside. So I liked that it had these bigger two compartments, again, for, <laughs> for Tripton, so I can put those in there and then put my other stuff in here. So I actually think this will be perfect for my purse. If you do have any pills that are bigger, like bigger packaging, what you could do is use like the cute label maker and just put the name of it. Like I might actually take some of my Ubrelvi out and just put them in here so I don't have the bulky packaging. That worked out even though it wasn't quite what I was picturing. Stocked up on my Lumify eye drops. Wow, I missed these. I tried a few different products and other countries and my eyes were just like burning from them so I don't know but Lumify doesn't make my eyes burn these are the best for redness doesn't do anything for lubrication but for redness these are great missed them when they were not in my life like I said redoing my like carry-on suitcase everything I just want to get it all nice and functional so I'd heard really good things about Dagny Dover I feel like I've seen their like Instagram ads before and once I found out that they are actually washable, I was sold because I don't know, I really like the idea of that. Like if you spill on it or just if it gets like really dirty with travel, you can actually just like throw these in the wash. I don't think the brand officially says that you can do that, but all the reviews people were saying like they do that and it's fine. So they make a few different like really nice neoprene carry-ons and this size just looked like absolutely perfect to me it's made to be a carry-on but also even if you're not traveling like this would be a perfect like gym bag overnight bag if you just need like a smaller size it has the nice slip right here to slip over the handle of your suitcase the inside has some nice compartments in it i have tried the base weekender bag i love base it's actually the other rolling suitcase I got, I got another one. But the Weekender bag wasn't for me. It was just like too big, too heavy because you end up stuffing so much stuff in it. I just wanted something that was like a little bit smaller. They do make a bigger size of this if you need more room. Also these like, I think these unclip right here. Yes, yeah, so you can make it even bigger. It expands out. Oh, that's super cool. Yeah, so you could definitely fit your laptop in here, but if you want it smaller, you can just pin this down. But this is the Dune color. So online, I thought this was gonna be more of like a light brown kind of color with like a little bit of taupe. I feel like in real life, it looks like a little bit too purple for what I was hoping for. I wanted more of just like a neutral brown color. So if you like a really mauve color, you would love this color, I'm sure. But I think I'm gonna be exchanging it for just a black one. I think that will be more my speed, but they also have a gray they have some really cool colors I just always like I always go back to black we'll update on this let me know if you want to see a like separate video on how I'm reorganizing repacking everything or if you just want to see that in a vlog I did get a new tripod which I'm filming on right now my other one is the Ulanzi this one is good it's super extendable how long I've been having this setup now almost two years I feel like it's really nice because it extends out and then it also you know turns into a table tripod but the only thing is it's very lightweight which if you have like a lens on here or if you have a heavier camera this is not going to work it's just too light so I got this one also by Ulanzi that is just more like heavy duty it's a metal tripod so it does weigh a little bit more but it's also made for like DSLRs or cameras with bigger lenses so far it's really good you guys are on a bed right now and normally like this tripod would just fall over if I was on the bed so definitely seems more sturdy something literally no one is going to care about but i'm going to show you anyways this is a little wind fluff muff thing i forget i always forget the actual name of these but this one is supposed to fit my like road mic go that i use for vlogging i wanted one where if i'm filming with that mic outside the wind won't be an issue because i want to do i think i want to do like a backyard get ready with me or something here because my grandma's backyard is so pretty it's like super green and I think it'd be nice to like film out there. This wasn't from Amazon, but I picked this up. It's the new Tula Radiant Skin Brightening Serum Skin Tint Sunscreen. That was quite the name, but this is a new release from them. And I've been hearing mixed things so far. I got the shade 6 Light Cool SPF 30. I'm wearing actually like a tinted moisturizer right now. I'm trying, it's the Tower 28, which first impressions 
really like it, super pretty. Right now, all I've been wanting to put on my face is like tinted SPF, so. That's what I've been going for. Base, hands down, best suitcase. I've tried a lot of the popular brands, Calpac, Monos, Away, I tried them all. Base, best quality in my opinion. I have the big one, like the biggest one in black and then the smallest one in black, but I didn't have the medium size. And basically the bag that I took abroad, I knew that was gonna be like its last trip because it was a Calpac one that was just like about to break. It's time to retire that one. So I knew that was gonna be its last hurrah. And so I wanted to replace it with base since that's my favorite and get the medium size in the base, which I don't have yet. So I thought I would switch it up and get the tan one this time. I don't think I've ever had a suitcase that's not black. Usually I like to just like, <laughs> blend in at the airport. This one is super cute. Wanted to switch it up and I thought this with the Dagny Dover would look really cute. I mean, that one's sitting on top, you know? So that's how you can slip the little carry-on over top. Look at how pretty the gold detailing is on this one. My other one just has, I think, silver, but love the color, love the gold on here. One of my favorite things with base is the handle. Like, well, look at this one, really pretty. It's like a rose gold, but they have this like really squishy like memory foam thing right here. So when you're wheeling it, your hand doesn't hurt from like gripping it. And the wheels on here are so smooth. My grandma, <laughs> my grandma when I was unboxing it was like, she was very impressed with the, with the wheelage. Okay, it's grandma approved. But the outside on this is just the best, the hard shell out of any suitcase I've had. Used the big black one for months. Love it, my favorite suitcase brand by far. Base is around the same price as the other popular ones and the quality I just think is hands down the best. And I bought this myself. They've never sent me anything. They don't even know who I am. I talk about them all the time. So listen, I'm open to it. If you wanna send me some suitcases based, like I'm down, I love you. I've spent a lot of money on your site, <laughs> but they did not send me this. This video is not sponsored by anyone. They also have really good warranty and customer service. I've had to email them for something else and they responded right away and just like replaced the thing I needed. So highly recommend base. I think that's everything. I'm gonna have everything I talked about listed down below in the description box and I will update on the things I mentioned in upcoming videos. So if you're not subscribed, and you wanna hang out, stick around, you can do so. By the way, I think I might've found my new favorite lash. They're from House of Lashes. I talked about it in, I think that vlog might be going up after this video. I think I'm gonna post this and then I actually have another Atlanta vlog coming, but really like these lashes are like super nice and tapered. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye. You're crazy. <laughs> you are crazy. Who am I talking to? Can I say hello to them? Oh, you're so cute. You're on YouTube. You're a vlogger. What a vlogger gal. You seem like something. Interesting.